Hey guys, Dan here, DD Speed Shop. Um, we're on remote location today in uh, Saskatchewan. So yesterday, well, a week ago I bought a car, not even a week, five days ago I bought a car. And then yesterday we decided to drive nine hours to go look at it and maybe try and drive it home. So I bought one of everything, a pile of rock auto boxes, and we're hanging out with my buddy Josh. So this is what we got. Huh? So, it's a 66 Biscayne, which I didn't really need, but it was cheap, it's complete, it's a base model unit, oh god, straight six, automatic, must be a power glide, I don't even know, I didn't even look at it, but it's like old man fresh, like look at it, it's perfect. It, it's is, not, it has that old man fresh smell. It does smell like that, yeah. But it needs a little bit of love in the rockers, both sides, or uh, sorry, the uh, the rear quarter. The wheel arch on the other side is a little kind of hammered, but I mean, it's pretty solid car. Floor looks good, frame looks good, currently doesn't run, but it does turn over apparently. The trunk floor, it's original keys. Trunk floor is mint. Oh. Dead cat. That wasn't in the pictures. <laughs> Danny just saw that. So our plan is to a uh, buddy that had it here, he barred it over. So it does the motor turns. He has no idea if it runs or drives. Uh, last on the road in 2005, actually. I thought it was longer, but that's not that bad. 05, that's 17 years. So been a while, but it was a running driving car. Apparently the guy bought it as a parts car for Chevelle's and then, or whatever, Chevelle's and stuff like that he was into. Then this guy bought it and he hasn't done nothing with it. So, I mean, it's basically a one owner original car. Base model, here's what sold me on it, Murr like 66 Chevys. So, uh, happy birthday, Christmas, Father's Day. It's not really for me. So I think what we're gonna try and do, before we go any further, is see if it'll even run. It's, uh, who knows, I got distributor, I got points, I got coil, I got everything we need. I'm gonna put a battery in it, so if it'll crank over, be able to do a little bit of testing, see if it has power and stuff like that, the coil. If we can make it bark to life and see if the transmission moves, then we'll carry on and uh, go from there. The end goal would be to drive it to Arby's for dinner tonight, but uh, I might just sign the title and leave it on the side of the road if it really goes bad. So, let's get after it. Could you have found any more stuff to fit in the truck for this? So, we definitely came prepared for, I don't even know what. I don't even know what I ordered off Rock Auto. I never even checked to make sure we have everything. A lot of this is just tires though, because I brought uh, five tires. Well, actually, I robbed them off the convertible. You mean the car that I'm supposed to drive this summer? Yeah, well, you can just drive this one now. It's all kind of the same. So, we'll see what we got in here. Pull the battery out, miscellaneous tools, fuel cell, because we're gonna need it. Life will be good. These packages came right at the last minute. Everyone always says move out, out in the country. I, so I bought this thing on a, I think it was a Saturday or a Sunday, I wired the money. Ordered these parts same day, they came on Tuesday. Oh yeah, this is all breaks. They came on Wednesday. Wednesday? And then we left on Thursday. Well, and like this box or this box didn't even come until Thursday right before we left. Yeah, it was amazing. But yeah. So, what everything? Everything was cheap. Cheap, 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 which was nice. I got alternator, starter, brakes. That's all brakes. Oh yeah, hoses. Man, like hoses, plug wires, everything. Everything, everything, everything. At least that's what I ordered. I don't know what showed. So I never even opened this, but. Let's put a battery in this thing, see what happens. Uh, key doesn't work, we have battery in it. Use your machine, Josh. So it does roll over. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good, so we got that. It's got power to the coil, I tested it with the test light. So, I guess we'll see. I think we just take the, the thing off and clean the points real quick. Yeah. And then dump some uh, fuel right down the carburetor. Man, the carburetor the linkage moves. Like it's not all screwed up or nothing. I don't think it would. But I mean, a lot of times everything is jammed, but I think it's gonna be fine. So if we uh, 
pull the cap off, Leatherman up the points. See what happens. I don't think it's going to even be a problem. I think it's just going to go. Is that what you think, Josh? Yeah. You think it's just going to go? Yeah, I think it's just going to go. So when it doesn't go, we can all blame you? Oh, I didn't buy it. <laughs> oh, actually, I kind of did. You brokered the deal. Yeah, I kind of did actually buy it for him. <laughs> You're at fault. Yeah, you're literally all at fault. In this. I woke up that morning not knowing I was going to do this or buy myself a car. So, That's uh, the best part. You have a car too we got to deal with. And I spent more money. Mine runs though. So you're winning. You would probably be less reliable than this. Do you see that spark? Yeah. Problem. Not really, no. She got no sparky. Fenders. I have a set. Danny's good with the camera yeah. angles, don't worry. She's yeah, she's used to it, I'm sure. Look at Dan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of butt crack I have to angle out. Yeah, his ass will be out. Okay, so we slapped the coil in there, which is gonna fix all our problems. You wanna see if you can see spark there? Uh you gotta plug the co oh no, it's already in plug it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well it's a distributor problem. Man, I wasted eleven dollars on that coil. He told me on the phone we needed a coil. <laughs> eleven points bucks. And, points and condenser, <laughs> I believe. It's brand new. Points and condenser. I think this is me. Oh, check this right here. We're, you're going to breaks already. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's already getting run. Well, yeah. That's what happens when you got two people. You double it's the. Be dry. <laughs> um, sure. It's not rusty. It's um, it's, so it's not dry, but it's not uh, wet. It's kind yeah. of sludge. Look at the inside of that. <laughs> Look at this. A bore might be plugged. Oh, it's not even bad actually. It's only a little bit of stuff. Should we even try to put this through this? No, 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 no. Well, that's bad. No, it's bad. We'll just change that. That line will come off. That line yeah. looks like it'll come off. You got some lube in your truck? Are we getting it running? <laughs> Man, come on, there's a no, chance. No, that's a good line, though. There's a chance. Go. I'll get some flared lines here. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh, I like him way better than Josh. I'm changing <laughs> friends. It's fine. I'm going to still put this on while he's going to get that. Could you not wrap it up? It's fine. Well, what happens when you screw up? You go over the ice cream. You skip in a step and go right to ice cream. This is always my favorite part when it's like super dirty and gross and then it's a brand new shiny shine. I always like that best. Wow, a lot of junk fill in there. Probably good though. You think we'll do an oil change? I brought oil, yeah. Cool. You don't need the gasket with that much dirt in there. <laughs> Josh is all over the place. He was well, doing plugs and wires, and now. Well, you're in the way. I, it's not a V8 here. We can't do each side. <laughs> so, impact. You do you. Swivel impact. Oh, that's. Well, don't. Wait, you put a snap on on this thing? Yeah. You would expect it. Did you get the. Oh, yeah. Seven millimeters of fury. Put brake fluid in this. Wow, that's nice, eh? It's not great. The line doesn't look bad, though. It's all full of junk. Break out the methyl hydrate. We'll take this snap ring off. It would probably Holy. work fine, yeah. You can have that back. We're oh. taking out the price of the car. Core exchange. Three dollars. I'll get my bleeding lines. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to get rid of the car, not have to do more work on hey. it, you guys. He knows we, what he signed up we for. We paid top dollar for this thing. Yeah. Alright, let's see if this thing will go.
wheat, but you guys park. What's the problem there? Uh, a little more too. Maybe it'll help. Spark plugs are no bueno. Heat them, give them a little oil. He's like, and I got the wrong ones. So the adventure dies here? No, no. This thing's got the caper plugs in it, not the copper crush things. It's just like small block Chevy stuff. Wire wheel. Wire wheel. Yeah. Oh yeah. Take them all out. I'll just wire wheel them up at the top. They're a little. They're a little wore out, but. So moral of the story, when you buy a car that you don't know will run, buy it from people who have all of the tools you're going to need to make it run. <laughs> Do you want me to walk up a mile, wire wheel one plug, then come back down so we don't lose a firing order? No, no, I'll just do this. It's getting too well. Just hold on. But not the way to do the things. The best part They're is now it's unreturnable. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> I could have got my 18 bucks back, but now I well, own it. I ha we could paint the old one with that cast iron heat paint that's the same color. We could just paint the old one and put it back in the box. <laughs> Pete <laughs> You'd never oh, do it's that. all it's on all. You'd never film. Do that. Rock, Rock Auto doesn't have a certain These are the bleeder. No, we'll just uh, crack this thread into the block and then tweak this off. It's like a quarter inch. That bleeder. Once you break the porcelain, then we're really, we're really screwed. No. Maybe. I don't want to be. Like I said, break it right off. There you go. Mm. Beautiful. Good. So this team is doing much better than this team. That's on there. <laughs> we ran into a snake. So we can either we could try to get I, I almost think what we should do is just hook that brake line up and leave the cap off and then to see if it goes down. Mm -hmm. There's a leak, and if there's no leak, then we'll maybe the try a regulator. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. And we could crack all the lines, the bleeder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I can't see anything going on. This is wrong. the only one in the countryside on, on a holiday <laughs> weekend. Oh. Keep going. Oh. We would just that. really break it. Look at this. This is something else. Yeah. This is how they do it. Check on the internet. It's NASCAR. Oh. Impact Results. on chrome sockets. That's probably not coming out. Is that my job? Oh, I got it off. Nice. I pre broke it, so that's right really into good the idea. caragana. And she can get her own results, man. I got another. There's four plugs on the dash of the yep. truck you grab. I'll get them for you. Thanks, helper. No All right, so we got the finest water we could afford, which was not much. New plug wires are on, new plugs are in, coils dangling. We're actually just checking for leaks, actually. But, uh, so yeah, we should have filled up. This first. Yeah. So Same far, we've got the brakes dialed off. and uh, yeah. GB We're pretty much ready to go. So we'll get it filled up. See if we'll fire it. Okay. You think there's still fuel in there? I'll put a little more in. Uh, give it a shot first. See if we start on some gas for like some some uh it should do something though. Fluid. I think we still got sparky. Should have caught it though. Excuse me, okay. I was flooded, but you should have plugs all out, so Something. I'm gonna channel it right in our bag here. Oh man. Yeah. Spray away. And we're out. all gonna take a few steps back. I've only ever blown one intake off. For safety okay, so the reasons. Funny how they 
I just want to see if it cough or do something. But I don't know well, unless I'm one out, that's number one. The, the rotor was pointing exactly at number one here. Yeah, that's why I put it back it. in. Okay. Now this only goes in one way. No, but the rotor, shouldn't this be number one then? The rotor was pointing right to here. That's where it's pointed? Oh, yeah. well then I'm one off. Let's just move all around one. I'm gonna switch them all around. Dad was right, he knew. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was wrong. <laughs> He's just shaking his head back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one right there? Well, that's number one, so let's do that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you respect your dads, because they know. They know. Give it a little while she's cranking, she'll go. Man, that's a good starter right there. Is, yeah. is it melting off the wires yet on the leads? <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. I hate when you're spraying at me while I'm doing this. Man, oh, the, the wind's blowing towards me, it's fine. <laughs> okay, ready? What's the worst that's gonna happen? I think the battery's dead. Yeah. I got another one in there if you wanna grab it, we'll fill the cables. <laughs> Well, let's have a drink break. Battery to a battery. <laughs> this oh, is DD Speech Up. What's that? Everyone's fingers and toes are good, yeah? All the starter are right now. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Cruise control it. Oh, yeah. That was it. Oh, yeah. The exhaust plugged. I guess the return spring hit. <laughs> Everything but. Time. We, got, uh, we got fuel pump. Losers. Yeah, I don't know how uh, Oh, our gas thing. Oh. Man, if we have a fire, it's going to be rowdy here. No, no, it's going to be fine. much fuel in there. Oh yeah. That explains why it wasn't sucking fuel in in because it couldn't move air out. No, it's almost like it's science or something. It's good. Fluid dynamics. Yeah. So you're an air pump. <laughs> <laughs> It's probably, yeah, you know what? Closed. Where was your old man on that one? Get it with a hammer. Oh, he's probably napping. <laughs> it's That's open though, I can feel it. it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of half open though, for sure. Yeah, it is. If you squirty squirt back in the plug holes again. I wonder if it fired from the plug holes, yeah, when we did. put the gas in. But it should be sucking air through it now. Yeah. Feel the exhaust when we're turning it over, see if it's pumping. Pull the coil in for a new one, blow up my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
fucking pussies. <laughs> you don't need to worry about third degree burns. Yeah, Look how hot this coil is. This one. Tell you something though, is that that star was about to tell us to fuck off. <laughs> it's, it's, it's had a death rattle now. <laughs> yeah, get in the morning. I want to yeah, quickly so. pull the intake. What do you want to do? Just like pull valve five cover and on? Well, pull valve cover and see if you got valve movement. I was thinking about that. Just maybe you got stuff it's stuck got open. Got though. You can you still valve. Well, you know what it would help too is just pull back on. I am If it had a dead hole, it would be doing like, whoa, 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 whoa. like it would have more of an, uh, like it's, it, when you turn it over, it's turning over pretty smooth, like. Let's try no gas, what do you think? Okay, so we just finished lunch. So now I wanted to put the wheels and tires on because that was going to make me feel better. These guys wanted to see if somehow it would just fire up from sitting. So I think that's what we're going to do. So we got 12 volts of the coil. And uh, we've done nothing else. Problems now always fix themselves. Now we're just waiting here. No pressure, no pressure. Leave the choke. The perfectionist. Yeah, well, she'll go. <laughs> More gas, less gas, nobody More knows. Gas, less gas. Oh yeah? Hold that, hold that. Starter works. Man, that starter's champ. Man, that's a thousand dollar starter. Yeah, There's a lot of junk. <laughs> you got a piece uh, of chain that comes with Do we want to fill this float? Yeah, that motor mount's not good, you can tell. <laughs> Wow. I think we need more people saying what to do. <laughs> He's over there waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought we'd change the wheels. Because let's face it, that's going to be awesome. The uh, We got a few few broke studs. So, that's another problem. But well, it runs. So we're going to change the fuel pump. Probably just run off the jury can, put the wheels and tires on and uh keep giving her lunch did its job <laughs> look at all these hard working <laughs> not hard working <laughs> we have to be back to work on monday so i'm doing fuel pump okay dan's doing fuel pump jay's doing exhaust jay's doing exhaust yeah. we got tweedle d and tweedle dumb doing wheels yeah they are definitely tweedle d and tweedle dumb over here <laughs> from the back you guys are twins it's the right mullet shade and everything I gotta fully shave mine into a mullet. I just gotta get to the barber shop there. <laughs> I miss shearing this year. On the road. Mine just grows in. Where is dad factory. supervising? <laughs> Man, I gotta Shouting at them when they're doing it wrong. No. <laughs> 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 I had a mullet, I'm standing next to her, I rock Camaro, like rubber boots and shorts on the Harley t-shirt. Yeah, like it's literally my whole life. Josh, tell the camera what you did. What happened, Josh? I broke it. Why'd you break it? Shitty. <laughs> Don't blame the car. <laughs> Should have a better car. You bought this one, as I recall. Your money. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Is that just a safety block? Safety mechanism. <clears throat> It'll go apart like nothing. Real old practice there. Uh, I can take it. Not deep enough, but I gotta do this. It's on there pretty good. 
All good noises. Is it moving at all? No. Does it turn? Kind of. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's just, it's seized on the. Yeah, I know. On the axle there. I will say the uh, tool bench truck has definitely expanded into a. <laughs> just uh <laughs> What'd you just say, Josh? Yeah, this is definitely a setback. That you broke it and you ruined the whole progress? No, no we just need a torch. <laughs> well, we can drive that up onto the pad and we'll torch it off after. We just gotta heat it up. We'll just heat it off that axle flange and it'll, it should just come off. I guess we'll be hitting it, obviously. We have another drum at this shot. Like I said, we'll just, uh, we'll just grip it. Brought the service truck, Dan. Yeah, that was cheating. Yeah. That means if somebody's a clean shop. Oh, nice. Show me a little trick, eh? Show Did you just break it? Yeah. Man, it doesn't need shoes. Have we have another drum if this is shoddy. Man, I am not concerned. I like how that bar has no teeth oh. on it. Oh, it broke it off now. Wait. Oh, it definitely sees. Try and keep the shoes. Oh. Not as bad as I thought. Oh, there, well, there's your problem. There's our jaw. Yeah. Well, I got a rebuild kit. We're fine. Here, don't lose those. A rebuild kit the for the uh, <laughs> yeah. wheel bearings are probably gone. So, give them a drive through. We'll be able to put them, yeah. screwdriver <laughs> CSA OSHA so I gotta take the oil filter off to get to the fuel pump bolt and this is what we're using as a drain pan boogie van boys it's not like it's a, a heart or a diamond so they won't really care hey, we're oh. protecting the earth are we gonna pour all over our one I just put Josh's uh, oh his swivel, swivel the snap on he would lose it <laughs> There's oil in there. It's not even that bad. We'll put that right back on if we change the fuel pump. Those clams. So what are we doing? Uh, well, the steering box is creating a bit of a concern. So we're going to alleviate that problem here by removing it. Cool. 
Yeah, I've had to do way less work than I thought when we asked you to come with you. Yeah. You volunteered to come, as I recall. So the box has splines, so that's all that matters. Uh, yeah, we'll wire wheel those splines. What does that piece look like, though? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's little, your problem. Little Chewbacca. -y. Yeah, it's gone. 100% gone. We could try to weld it. <laughs> we could try and weld it. No, that's somebody it. did, I think. It's 100% stripped. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a no steering situation. Um, let me see if that's the same. I think it's the same as the Chevelle one. This wasn't in the ad. <laughs> it wasn't. I know. You don't know about. You don't even know what's what's still left that wasn't in the ad. <laughs> you oh, took yeah. the ad down pretty quick. I saw after I gave you the cash, so I couldn't double check it. Yeah, you the just... spines are good on the shaft. Yeah, so that's fine. Uh, we, we can just weld if we have to. We're a big honking bolt. Be fine. Or a file, we could just file some splines back in there. We can clean some of these back together and bolt it tight, and then we could weld it or eat solid at the house. <laughs> if you have another one, I'd really I appreciate it. I wouldn't <laughs> put on the, on the YouTube world that you're welding steering components <laughs> and driving across Canada, but... We're not driving across done that Canada. Before? We weld the my steering components. Uh, I'll probably just harvest it off of that Chevelle. Yeah, it works for me. And then... Oh, have you want... even done any work today? This is working out fantastic. These reviving drives are easy. I don't know why people are complaining about them. <laughs> you just bring your loser buddy and the two guys that want to help out, we're golden. Yeah. We're gonna, he's bringing me a fuel tank right away. We're gonna have this thing purring softly right away here. The next one we do has to be way harder than this. And by we, I mean you. Oh, it's your turn next. harder. <laughs> I'm not gonna come. <laughs> What's that? This is a, this is a super smart dude. They got like, looks like a, up a mower or a snowblower or something like that. Yep. It's a little yep. tank with a filter. We'll just put it on there so we can kind of bottle feed it before we start screwing around with the uh, actual fuel tank. Just guaranteed that's going to be full of junk and a hassle. So this will just see if it'll actually run. And then if it does run, we can put it in gear, see if it has transmission. We got the, did you get the studs in? The rear wheels are on everything? Yeah, did you film Oh yeah, that? everything's on. Oh, yeah, so. I don't know why you were looking at me asking if I did any of that. <clears throat> Sorry. I hit a bunch of stuff with a hammer. But now, let's put gas in this. And, uh, yeah, it should run. Oh, you got a good, you got a good uh, video of me punching out the studs in. Dan screwdriver. <laughs> uh, this thing has some brakes. We try and put it in gear, yeah. See that's tranny. And then the steering box will hook and fold and tear out all the <laughs> tear out all the art links. Oh wait, we gotta put power to the coil here too guys. One sec. Oh, where's the other one? Oh, there's one. I think there's one there. Yeah, there well, it's all bent. Damn. Okay. 
gear though? This thing runs good. It's a little smoky. Just ratchet. Yeah, that'll be fine. You guys didn't even sell me a lemon. Honest Abe. We knew it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> For ground that goes in between is Oh. So we got everything. I mean, look at all these new parts and stuff. We just put a rag joint, new new to me, on there. So that's all good. Those splines are good. Uh, we decided to hook up to the fuel pump or the fuel tank, the original one. We sucked a little bit through. It got a little dirty, but then came out pretty clean. I think this will have no problems. Whatsoever. Transmission goes in the gear. The brakes are mediocre. Really, if we, I think it's gonna be. We wet. checked this fruit jar maybe in case it drained out since. Yeah, we can check that. Yeah. Since. It'll be fine. Yeah. Really, this thing's. Check when you get there. It's like ready to be field driven. For a thousand bucks. I'm Gen Z. I like staying home, playing video games. So we can go in the backfield and everything, eh? Man. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. Well, we got some good tour guides here. They'll be all right. They hustled really hard today, and the beautiful lady of the house made me coffee. And it's fantastic. Fantastic. Am I just filming from back here? Yeah, I got one Josh pulled in the inside. It's gonna require a bit of a feather. It's not that good of a motor. It needs an accelerator pump. Three speed. I thought you guys had this thing dialed. We got it idling. It's gonna be a long uh, ride back to Winnipeg. Can you pull in pretty good. <laughs> Just go through those trees. 
Yeah, yeah just like blast right yeah. into the field. <laughs> So move to the front of the yard. Everything pressure washed. It's as good as it's gonna get now. We're gonna drive her home. It's got no brake lights, but we're not that far. So we'll make quick little all the way back Josh's and we can mess with it and get those final things. Now, spur of the moment, Josh bought this Cadillac, which now we're uh, trying to slap together. It was taken apart for paint, but it was all complete. And now we're gonna put it all back together so he can also drive it home. This is the running driving, has Paul Block Chevy whole deal it's, it's actually a pretty cool car so we're just gonna kind of jam it together and hit the road it's probably a couple hands with sun four o'clock something like that and uh yeah we get the brake plates working and that thing we're gonna take it out for dinner all right so we're taking off special thanks to all these guys part of, not so much danny she ran inside and just ate hey, I helped. the cookies were good but we're gonna hit the road and hopefully we make her back to Josh's and I'm probably gonna go cruising later with these guys because they can't get enough of us for some reason. <laughs> All right, we're headed out. Josh Cadillac in front. Man, I probably should wipe this window down. So we got a few gravel roads and then, uh, well, we'll be at Josh's. Hopefully this thing makes it. The cold light works. It definitely has an exhaust leak. And we got Danny in the rear. Just left the gas station. Uh, the key stopped working again, so we had to bump start it under the hood, but it went. So obviously, the ignition switch probably just needs to be worked back and forth or something, but it didn't yak its guts out. 
I only put a few dollars of the fuel in it in case we got to drop the tank or there's a problem with the sender. Doing that with less gas is always better. But uh, so the way this worked, we were about 20 miles on one side of town and outside of town. And now where Josh lives, about 30 miles on the other side. So we're now in town. We got another 20, 30 miles to go. His place. I give it once over. I want to vacuum this thing. It's it's gross. Home sweet Josh's. So this thing's gonna get a little bit of a cleanup. Danny refuses to get in it until we uh, back into the rat turns up. Oh, you those fine Camaros. But the, both these hot rods made it, uh, well, I don't even know what that would be. 50, 60 miles? Oh, it's stuck in reverse there. <sighs> well, we made her back. I think what we're gonna do, Josh is just degreasing the whole thing. We're gonna soak it all down, wash it all off, clean the motor up a little bit, let it cool off, and then probably drop for tomorrow. We've got, uh, we've got some fuel filter issues. we got to go through that. We need to buy a pack of those. we got to get taillights working. Get the carburetor once over. It's got no accelerator pump. has some sort of vacuum leak. Change all the rad hoses. And uh, it's got a heater core leak. I don't know if it's a core or what, but it's unhappy. So we'll loop those. Lots well, of just little things here and there, but... It made it a bunch of miles. Oh, and the transmission linkage is a little goofy, so we got to figure that out. But uh, it does still transmission, so that's all that matters. Next day. So, I did do a little bit of work on the car this morning. Went down to the auto parts store, just got a few things we were gonna need. Um, we've got the taillights working. I put new pigtails in it, pretty simple there. I did pull the whole interior and all that out. The driver's side seat of the seat is a little rashed. I pulled the whole back seat out because it was, it was bad. It was, it was mice central. So we got that out, that's just, I got like a bunch of storage cars here, but so we pressure washed that all out. So that's good. Under the hood, went over to the carburetor part and uh, got the accelerator pump working. Just changed every little hose because it had vacuum leaks and whatnot. Uh, tail lights, headlights, what else we got going on? I think that's about it. We got a new belt for it, a few little things like that. All the turn signals work, the brake lights work. We'll use this as a spare just in case. So, up next, I'm going to try and kick Josh out of his own garage and Put this thing that I put up on stands. I was under just a little bit. The exhaust just kind of hung up with coat hangers, so maybe put another coat hanger on it just so it'll make the trip home. It looks real solid underneath. I want to pull the wheels, pack the front wheel bearings. The ignition switch is still kind of finickety. It doesn't want to trigger the starter all the time, so I'm just gonna, I bought a momentary switch. I'm just going to wire one direct in just for the time being, so we have that. But we'll have headlights, taillights, turn signals. It'll start. The tank seems like okay, and fuel. I mean, it's just an extra day. We managed to get a little stuff. It probably could have gone home yesterday, but. Uh, I'll leave until tomorrow. So we got lots of stuff to do, but we're making progress. So I think I'll just figure a few more things here and then we'll get inside and time to hit the road. So at this point we're in the garage. Uh, we're getting, well, Josh do most of the work here. I'm not gonna lie, but we got the wheels off. We packed the one bearing, so it's good. We're at a point with the brakes though, where I couldn't get any of the bleeders loose and I don't want to screw around and break it then we're committed to doing the brakes. So they're not bad right now. So I got my best guy on it. The only issue I really run into is right here, this one tie rod is a little bendy. So we're actually gonna try and put a, a ratchet strap on it. 
and straighten it out. But underneath, I love my light with me, but look at this thing. Yeah, whoever sold you this thing's an idiot. Yeah. Why would they do that? I don't know. Whoever sold me this did no idea what they had. But uh, it's solid. The rockers, they're all solid. No issues there. I'm going to trim, well, at least the back of the muffler. Tailpipe's not doing nothing. It's hanging on there. It's got a 12 bolt in it. Uh, drive shaft looks decent. The U joints look good. I don't know. It looks like it's going to be an outside only repair. Oh, the the one four link lower four, four link there is a little bent there, but I mean probably just bend that one back and uh, call her a day. So we got a little bit of screwing around to do. Trunk drop downs are mangled as well as just the lower quarters, but really, it's nice. Even the body bushings are in good shape. Look at that. And Still has the pleasurizer shocks on it, so are mint. So this one uh, tie rod's a little on the bent side. Crazy grease, awesome. Up there is where the tie rod is. So we're gonna wrap a strap around it, and then I'm probably gonna wrap the strap, I think around the dip on the other side. We gotta almost pull it back to the, uh, to the driver's side and straighten her out. So I'll give it a couple of gentle, I took Josh's nicest strap, so. Is there some grease I can rub this in first? Yeah, I'll put it on the other side and then I'll uh, we'll get to ratcheting. So, Josh, if we just give her a couple of, what do you think we'll have to go like? Oh, oh it's gonna want to turn the wheel. Fine, eh? I got it. Keep going. Is it moving? Yep. Keep going. Keep going. This breaks. I'm really taking the teeth. Oh. Um. Maybe let just give it a little crack loose. I only got one speed for loosening. That's fine. That's yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Hopefully I'd fix the toe problem. Well, this is how we do alignments. So. This is the shape mechanical alignment rack? Yeah, exactly. With the jack stands out tomorrow. So we're good. We're going to, <laughs> yeah. Wheels back on and uh, I'm going to cut the muffler off. I think it's down the ground. Seat cover on it, which is a bed sheet we stole. And oh, then we gotta put the tow bar on that we won't use, but nice to have. And then it's supper time. Good morning. So it's uh, travel day home. It's about uh, 6:30 in the morning. We got a little over 500 miles. Probably take us. Well, I didn't want to jinx it, but in a regular car, it's eight nine hours. We'll see how this one does. The windshield is terrible. The sun is up, Danny's behind us, let's see how it goes. Well, we're rolling down the highway here, uh, 65 mile an hour. Unfortunately, I don't know, it's very loud here, hopefully you can hear everything, but the motor's not super happy. It's got a carburetor issue where if you let off, it's okay, it pops and bangs. But it's got a stutter, but if you mat it, it goes away. So, unfortunately, I think this is what we're going to be dealing with is old fuel tank and uh, dirty carburetor and whatnot. So, uh, we're probably two hours into the trip. It's still running. I don't know if I'll fix it or not or just see how far we can make it. So, yeah. Oh, and this thing, it doesn't have a lot of power. Uphill, it's a lot of this. Luckily, we don't have a lot of hills. Oh, well side of the road pit stop um yeah so i don't know what's going on there it's definitely running worse and worse and worse and uh it lost the oil cap i don't know if that blew off or what so we'll check the oil i think we're gonna do i'm gonna fire it up rev it up i'm gonna try and kind of put my hand over the carburetor and see if that'll suck any of the junk we have uh in there out because uh it runs bad Let's just check the oil level real quick, make sure we're good. There's all these blowing all over the place. I don't know what happened. It's a push and turn one. Maybe I pushed and didn't turn. Yeah, it's still fine. So let's fire this thing up and you'll get to see the uh, rocking and rolling.
unfortunately, I'm thinking that the problem may just be the bad gas. Because it's instantly ungood. Well, we're back on the road. Same thing. It's fine under wide open. Just really not happy kind of cruising. So we'll see how far we make it. I don't have any, uh, I don't know. The carburetor has to come apart, I think. I really want to do it on the side of the road, and it's just starting to rain, so maybe we'll make it to some town and deal with it there. Well, <laughs> the car's running bad. It's now raining, and uh, this sucks. Oh well, 45 minutes to the next town, and uh, we'll take a look at it. at all it was running so good so take it apart right away here Let's see how ugly it is inside but this may be an ongoing thing if it is we have to bring up some jerry cans or do something a little different I mean, this little tower house doesn't have a parts store so it wasn't going to make it to the next and uh i guess we're pretty self-sufficient right now let's see what this looks like in here so right when that exciting stuff happened, the camera died. So we have a new battery. Explain again what happened there. Uh, well, the thing was right full of fuel, so I think the needle and seat is not happy. I don't have any brake cleaner. So we're gonna see if we can clean with a little bit of fuel. I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. It's just not happy. Definitely that old, that old fuel or that old tank. The new fuel is not helping the situation, but that should be as bad in here as I thought it would be, so. I mean, it's bad, but rusty bad. So I'll get this cleaned up, try and put it back together, and see what we really need a gas station or someone to test brake cleaner to make life easier. Well, we should Google that and see if we can find one in this little town. What problem do we have? Well, I've lost a little rod with a throttle. I don't know what happened to it. It's... You lost it just now or somewhere on the highway? No, I took it apart. It's just now, but I don't know what the heck happened to it. This little rod right here that my eagle eyes have found. Wow. I think we found the problem. Thanks. You know, sometimes I see this stuff and I'm like, I feel like there should be more holding things together. Yeah. That is the way with carburetors. <laughs> so we got the carburetor cleaned up, put in a second filter, see if that'll make any difference. Still no oil cap, didn't find it on the side of the road. 
Say so. We also have a whole lot of other options. It says bar plugs be nice, but <coughs> not a whole lot else we can do right now. I mean, not every revive and drive is successful. This will be successful. <laughs> it's revived and it's rived. Status report, good sir. So we had a part again. The float. I think has a hole in it because it's letting bubbles out and we kind of submerge it so that's a problem the carb kit that i have is a the wrong one it's all they had on rock auto and it doesn't have a float anyways so it needs to be kind of soldered back together or something which you just don't have stuff to do at this point so i think we're going to hook her up to the truck and start dragging her home and uh bit of a fail or we could run it like wide open throttle with vice grips on the uh, fuel line, let her go in and out every now and again. But that's the problem because when you it doesn't want to idle and stuff like that, but then you goose it, it just it comes away and stuff like that. It's actually using all it that. It was fuel. really happy at about 110. Well, for a while there, I was just I had it right to the mat and stuff. <laughs> it was loaded up and it was like doing as much fuel as it could. It was fine. So carburetor issues. So pull the drive shaft. Let's Hunter be up. honest, we're all impressed it made it this far. Well, it made it uh, 100 miles today and probably another 75, wherever it was the day before yesterday. So, And this is just a function of, I mean, however old carburetor has been sitting forever. So, And it's a Sunday in small town open. Saskatchewan. There's yeah. one gas station in this little town, not open till tomorrow. Yeah, no, nothing's wrong. We can start calling around for parts and stuff, see if we find anything in Regina, but I feel like that's going to be... If Rock Auto doesn't have it, that's usually a sign. Pump it! Ow. Honestly, I kept watching that corner to see if that was going to fall off. So the thing was wagging on the highway. It was, it was a little crazy, but it was like, whatever, I was on it. And now, as it turns out, <laughs> when we're trying to flat tow it, we got all sorts of problems. So it's the one, I think it's the driver's side or whatever, it's, it's not happy. So this is what we got going on now. Obviously it makes me feel better because the front end was definitely getting worse. So it's what it is, I guess. Oh, people just checking it out. <laughs> Back in Bethune. Back in Bethune. Oh, they know what's going on now. <laughs> well, I feel like this was a pretty exciting uh, Sunday for folks. It's definitely just really didn't happen all the time. It actually is a good looking car, I'm not as bad as I was. Really? Fortunately, you got some pushing ahead of you. Oh no. <laughs> what? I just don't know what let go. Well, like if you stand in the front, you can see this wheel has done. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, it's mangled this thing. These are brand new tires. Oh no, the tires are botched? They're cut to all hell. Wow. Yeah, this thing wouldn't have... It was obviously not happy the entire way. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, lesson learned. Was it? No. Nope. We'll do it again. So, I guess we'll... Uh... Dismantle the tow bar. Dismantle it. Those are Josh's pins, remember to give them back. Jinx. Oh, you're 
other side was a pain. Oh well, it's gonna load it up. When you don't have a winch, you use ratchet straps and a very strong, strong man. The garage winch would have been handy right now. Yeah. So these tires were brand new. You can see they're cupped to all hell, both sides. So a huh, combination of motor issues and the front end is falling apart on this thing. Man. I just put these tires on the convertible too, and they weren't like, they were like 150 bucks each. Put them on the back and melt them. Get them flat again on something. Wow. We're out of here. Try it again. Oh, the rear end doesn't fall out of it. We <laughs> should be fine. I was going on the road with this gem. On the road again. Bethune. We hope we never see you again. Bethune was rough. Co-op was gonna go, couldn't get drinks. Nightmare. Goodbye, Bethune. Alright. Hello, Regina. <laughs> I just like this view. I feel like we've been here before. Yeah, it's Recently. vaguely familiar. There's the little bumps, remember, so go very slow over oh, there. The old girl handling. Just knock some of that rust off. She is Miss America. But when people say that the Saskatchewan is all flat, I will say it has a much nicer. Uh, this is the one unflat. This spot. is this is very nice in here. This spot's nice. This is like that other spot coming here from home. The two only nice spots. All right, we are finally almost home. It's now 9:02. We left at 6.30 or 7 o'clock this morning. <laughs> yeah, another hour we'll be home. <laughs> Not bad for an eight hour, eight hour trip. But look, there is a rainbow. I don't know if you can really see it. But there is a rainbow, which I feel like is a good sign. And the car is still... Oh, We're making her. Still there, so we'll see you at home. Yeah, we're home. It's... Uh... 10 30 something like that hill girl made it, the truck did good uh yeah i guess we'll see we'll start working on it maybe tomorrow i got all sorts of ideas and plans and stuff like that but honestly you guys need to tell me what you think we should do with this thing who doesn't need a straight six four door pile of junk doesn't run and uh, the front end's okay out of it so tomorrow rock auto, rock auto is getting an order i'm tired it's been a long weekend you know what Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. There's not enough video for one for one day. I'll see you later.